Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In this session, we will take a look at uh, um, validations. Uh, validations are important um, in terms of uh, determining whether the test case has really passed or failed. Because as soon as uh, um, a robot runs a particular keyword, uh, it's it says the test case has passed. But in actual sense, uh, we need to validate a certain text or whether the checkbox is enabled or whether the dropdown is selected properly or not. So we need to put in validations uh, before uh, we ensure that the test case has actually passed or failed. So that is why validations are very important. So there are many validations available in um, robot framework. So if I go to the help file for robot framework, um, that is for Selenium library. So here is the help file for Selenium library. Uh, I'll put this link in the description as well. So if you look for the shortcuts here, so there are a lot of shortcuts available, which is like the keywords. And inside this, if you see, there is there are, there are a lot of keywords which contains should be or should not be. So these can be used for validations. Say for example, checkbox should be selected, checkbox should not be selected. And uh, you need to check element at the coordinate, whether it is present or not, whether the alert is present before uh, we click on OK or cancel. And uh, after clicking on the alert, whether the alert has gone away or not, to check that we can you make use of alert should not be present. So there are a lot of should contain. So these can be used as a validation point in your test case. So <clears throat> uh, we have already used one validation point in, in our test case earlier. Uh, that was at the beginning, but uh, I will try to add one or two more um, so that you know that validations are needed for a particular test case and it is very important. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this tags return close robot, which we have created earlier. And yeah. I'm going to make a copy of this and then paste it here. Okay. Um, then I'm going to call validate dot robot file. Okay, paste okay. Uh, since we had five test cases, so I'm going to take out uh, the last three. So I'm going to enable this and I'm going to take out the tag for the time being and initialize as well. Okay, and I'm going to enable this sweet setup. Okay, and save it. So this is a now suite containing two test cases. One is login to web page uh, Heroku app. The other one is click AB test link. So if you look at login to Heroku app, so we have already added a validation point here, which is element text should be, and um, and we are also capturing the page screenshot here. Um, the page screenshot and the, these validation points are very important um, in debugging the script using the log file. So whenever you have capture screen, page screenshot, so you can run through the uh, screenshots uh, to identify where the issue is. And also these extra validation points will also help you. 
Okay, so in A-B testing, we didn't add any validation point, but it is returning a text. So we, what we will do is we will see um, since this particular test case is returning AB test control or AB test variation one, uh, what we can do is since it is returning this particular text, we can see whether this particular return text contains AB test or not. So that means if it contains AB test, then this is a this test case is a pass. Okay, so that is an additional validation point which we are going to put here. Okay, so after returning the value, so there is should contain, okay, should contain and uh, the parameter which we are checking is a return value. The parameter which we are checking is this return value. And what it should contain, it should contain this AB test. Okay. Since robot framework has got a lot of libraries, um, if you don't find something which uh, you are looking for uh, in this Selenium uh, library, uh, you can also make use of uh, the robot framework uh, validation points. Okay, so let me save this and run this robot validate. Now, if I go back to log file, and I'm looking at the, the second test, see here, and it has successfully validated this particular returned value with this AB test. So how do I ensure? So let me add one here, which is not the text which I'm expecting, which is not the text which I'm expecting from the return value. So I'm going to run, rerun this. This time the second test should fail. Okay, as it says, AB test variation does not contain AB1 test. See, this is the standard message which you get. If you want to add in your own message, um, then you can add it as a third argument. So the first argument is the, the actual return value and the test which we are doing. And the third parameter will be your error message error returned value doesn't contain the text which we are looking for let me save this and then read on this okay now you can see <clears throat> earlier it has added the standard error message which was AB test control does not contain AB1 test now we have a custom error message which is error, a returned value doesn't contain the text which we are looking for. So this will help you to debug the script. 
right now we have only uh, two test cases but uh, if you have uh, hundreds of test cases or thousands of test cases um, certainly these error messages the custom error messages will help you out you know finding where the issue is since we have already seen how to make use of um, check boxes drop down list alerts so i would suggest you to make use of this alert should be present and alert should not be present and checkbox should be selected um, check whether checkbox is selected before uh, you are clicking on the checkbox um, and also element should contain certain text and element should be visible so these are all the things which you can try out um, in your spare time and see how it goes. So if you encounter any error, put a comment in the comment section and let me take a look. That is the end of this session. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, please post it under comment section under the video. I will see you in the next video.